to another vlog and you know that um, I did Dangriga before and I'm back in Dangriga but this location I didn't get a chance to visit last time so I'm here um, this is the Dangriga sign so I'm at the park right now and behind me you can see the tile trailing out in the river but right by the seaside beautiful zone right and this is where the vlog starts for today let me show you guys that front view so welcome to Dangriga right and we're at the park right now first is in the park um, kind of empty it's a Sunday and so the next stop for us then is to head over to Sarawi um, village where we did a, some, some wedding photography yesterday which was exciting it's my first wedding photography um, gig that I got and so um, I had a couple of hiccups on the way but we'll stop back at Sarawi show you the location and from there on move over to Hapkit again strange, strange enough there's some there's some purses tied in the park right um, of course some little boys chasing them so but Dangriga Yeah, so that's, in, that's the name of the park. I know the breeze will be affecting the audio. The Alejo Bene Park. All right, so like like I mentioned, we're in the village of Sarawi. I didn't even know the village exists. So in the village of Sarawi, um, it's about four miles outside of Dangriga town. Um, fairly large community as far as I can tell. Fairly productive community. And I'm seeing they now have a water system. Let me show you that. And from what I've heard from the research um, is that they recently acquired a water system here in Sarawi. Um, so for a while, although there is close proximity to Dangriga for a while they didn't have the water system up and going so, so now they have their own water system which is nice small community again I'm just passing through but I thought I'd show you guys a bit of Sarawi village All right, so again, welcome to Hopkins Village. Um, Hopkins Village is one of those um, Garfina communities located near the seaside. It is more of a, I would call it a Garfina cultural area. Um, we drove all the way down to southern part of Hopkins, 
and decided that we'll head up um, just to show you guys the scenery. Um, so all the way down south, the southern part of this um, is the more of the touristy area where you find a lot of the larger resorts uh, as you can see in the area. Um, the roads are not paved all the way uh, to the back here. But the scene was okay to say the least simply because um, it's not overwhelmed with tourists right now because of the, because of the timing right the whole covid scenario um that's going on worldwide the, the pandemic um but i know that with the airports opening up opening up back um soon um we expect to see some tourists in the area after this this is definitely a nice view the signs showing um all the various resorts i guess um, that you find here in hopkins and of course city river is on the other side of this road um, so we're heading back up north to see if we can get some views to share with you guys uh, we're here in what i would consider the center of hopkins what i found strange here was coming back the highway had a no entry sign um, it means that the only way i could get around would be to go back through city river and come back through the junction from Hackins, which was weird but I spoke to someone um, who we met on the road and he told me that it was okay to drive back here although it says one way um, as long as we turn um, when we reach somewhere around by the police station um, we will make a turn um, so apparently I think the roads need to be re uh, <laughs> kind of remapped <laughs> right uh, because I'm sure that if I use Google Maps, it'll probably say that this is a one-way thing. So definitely some planning has to, has to be done for that particular area. Hopkins around this time would have been overflown with tourists um, for maybe a lobster fest or some sort, right? Um, it's again, the, the lobster season is on. And so you would have people cooking and people on the beach. And so we we're not seeing much of that right now. Apart from that, I know that they also do the mango fest in the area around this time of the year or closer to easter but again circumstances we cannot control because of the pandemic hopkins is dry right but people trickling in and this is where we turn for the police station we're still hoping that some of the locals will take advantage of this seeing that the prices are so low now in terms of um coming in but i know some of the resorts do depend on that international audience so heading over See if we can go to Hopkins Bay, take some photos, maybe get some food in the area depending on what the vibe is, right? So Hopkins, hope you guys enjoy the rest of the views. Hopkins B Resort, right?
Hi uh, guys, we're in Hopkins on the beach. As you can see, the sea is rough. And, you know, around this time, there's definitely not a lot of tourists in the area. Uh, our airport opens up on the 15th of August. So, the area is still, people still swimming around. We're gonna get a shot from the outside for you guys. But, what do you expect? Have a little influx of 